James, hello, thank you, and welcome back to Geek, Geek Curio. How are you, my friend? I am alive, which after a weekend of DIY is a pretty good start, so getting there slowly but surely. How about you? I'm, I'm doing good. I think we, we both made it through the, the weekend. I, I mean, I, I had a bit of a... Well, you know, I wasn't very well on the weekend, yeah. so unfortunately I didn't get as much... Um, with all the videos that I plan to do this weekend out of the way, so... I'm going to be taking strong advantage of the bank holiday weekend, of the bank holiday Monday, I should say. Yep, which isn't up here in Scotland, <coughs> and Sadly, we don't have it. No. That is in a couple of weeks' time. Oh. Is that the one that you have and we don't have? Yes. Think, yeah, yeah, this is our last one now, so, okay. Um, so, um, Kickstarter. I am a backer. I am a backer, Yay! so I'm really happy. Because I've done the reviews of um, the magical items and artifacts and magical items. Yep. And the deconstructing of D and D races. Yep. And then we had a chat. I haven't done any more reviews of your stuff, have I? No, because uh, no. there really isn't any. No. Um, but so this is it. <laughs> yeah. So this is the the third product in the sort of to destroy a storm D and D run. Mm -hmm. So for those, those who are listening at home who are like, huh? Hey? So, I'm James, I have the brand of Stormfang, which covers everything I do. Mm -hmm. uh, to Destroy a Storm is the sort of D&D series label um, for 5th edition that I'm using, which all, hopefully, long term, leads up to a really big campaign setting that goes into a lot of stuff. And what I've started doing is drip feeding out lots of little modules, um, the first of which was the Deconstructing Races for 5th edition, which I must have just beat a whole ton of people out by like a week mm. or two because it, it felt like it was like, hey look, a clone of my stuff that's like differently. Oh look, a clone of my stuff that's like. So obviously, great minds think alike, and loads of people have the same thought. Which imitation, is great. imitation is. <laughs> imitation. Not yeah. that they would never see me because I've sold like maybe ten copies, um, for actual money, um. The, there were the magical items, uh, artifacts, specifically weapons, um, ranging from like common, very common low power stuff, all the way to ridiculously powerful legendary items, including some hilariously comedic ones. And I do encourage people to go back to those videos um, that has been done by Andy because they actually have sneak previews. So if you want to yes. go in and actually see stuff, there's stuff in there to see. Yes, I am the sneaky goblin, so I get all the sneaky <laughs> stuff. Yes, absolutely. So okay. this third piece that we're working on now um, is in Kickstarter. As of this moment in time, it's reached, as he looks over his phone with the numbers on it, £621, which is 62% of where we want to be, and that's across mm -hmm. 87 backers, and we have 13 days to go. That's 13 days as of the 31st of August. So if you're watching this in a week's time, you probably only have a week left to go and check us out. Hurry, hurry. Uh, yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry up now, buy one, get one free, which funnily enough is very true. So this one is class specialization, so it's taking some really cool ideas um, and some inspiration from the community that I interact with on a regular basis and individual people who are even credited in the module with a whole page letter mm -hmm. um, dedicated to, to the people who have kind of inspired, inspired each class as well. Um, and it's really bringing to life different aspects of those classes um, into different ways or adapting them to something that people I know have thought or are like, oh, that would be really, really cool if I could do X, but the book says no, um, or there isn't something out there. So I've added a bit of flavor to different classes. Mm -hmm. um, they are quite powerful, but you have to use them in a way that's uh, quite engaged and you understand what your specialization is there to do and it will be really powerful if you try and use your specialization to continue being the same as any other specialization they found in the, in the default bog standard content you're going to struggle uh, so think about you know if anybody does back it please do everyone please do. Just thousands and millions of pounds that'd be great i promise i won't go on a holiday immediately um so there's that the the class specializations we don't have stretch goals currently uh, because we're only at 61%, we're halfway through the campaign. So we're hoping to get funded. I'm not even thinking about stretch goals. We technically have to, but I'm not even paying attention to those right now. Um, but already to 
boost things and, and enhance what everybody is getting is no matter what backer level you are, whether it's one pound all the way to the highest and most terribly expensive of the normal backer levels of ten pounds. Oh my god, ten pounds. Um, unless you go crazy with that last one hundred pound backer level, but that please do, but um <laughs> no pressure. Um but every backer level gets some additional free content. So already out there is four free audio tunes, of which Andy, by all means, you can now play over the video if you wanted to, because they're in the updates and it specifically states they are free for use, personal use and commercial use, as long as you credit me in the commercial use. I was gonna say, because I know that you do some composing as well, so this is actually being composed by yourself. Yes, composed by me, everything done by me, nothing by anyone else. So that's why they're about a minute long, and they're pretty good. I mean, they're not mind-blowing, mm -hmm. but they're very useful. Um, and they're really designed to be a bit more of an intro tune or a, a scene kind of tune. So there's a set of four there that everybody is free to use. That, that's a backer. Crack on. If you're a backer, I'm never going to come after you. Enjoy. Play around with it. Be silly. Awesome. Uh, so that, that's the first thing that, that's free on there. Um, secondly, um, thanks to Lewis, who, uh, Abadis, I hope I pronounced his name correctly there, who's our art partner on this. Um, yes. He put up some art on Twitter, was like, oh, this would be really cool for a class. At which point I went, Lewis, you, you, you do know I'm writing the class specializations case so that you're the artist for, right? <laughs> and he went, oh yeah. So I went, uh, right, <laughs> uh, so we now have a class spe class specialization for Ranger mm -hmm. on its own standalone PDF, which is a Ranger of the Dragon's Eye, which has its own art by Lewis, and its own set of magical items specifically designed for that standalone PDF. So it's one whole Ranger-specific PDF with a whole range of magical items from common all the way to legendary oh my god don't give this to a player they'll destroy the universe mm -hmm. basically but all themed around if i was playing this class what kind of magical items would i really want to do and there's actually a very good reason for it mm -hmm. because one of the earliest abilities that that class specialization gets because you're a dragon's eyes you're out there looking for horde to recover lost artifacts from horde so if some suspiciously short, hairy-footed gentleman steals a ring mm -hmm. from your horde, you're, you're the, the ranger sent to go and find that and drag it back kicking and screaming and chop it off the finger. Um, and in this case, your draconic patron, think kind of warlocky almost, mm -hmm. your draconic patron who you were serving as the eyes of, had loaned you a magical item from its horde to use mm -hmm. in recovering things. So it is, it, imagine if rangers had real jobs, <laughs> kind of like warlocks. Rangers have real jobs, not just tromping around the forest, poaching. Um, yeah, so real motivation to actually do stuff, um, and there's actually stuff to do with the dragon's horror, kind of all interwoven, and some really, really silly fun abilities um, built into the, the subclass as well, that are very odd for a ranger to have, but should make it quite cool. Um, that's the second piece of free stuff. So there's a fortune <laughs> and that. <gasps> and, and. And. It's like Christmas now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a, another whole artifacts PDF that is not just weapons. So it's a mixed bag. There's um, wondrous items. Um, there might be some. Uh, shields going in there, some armor. In fact, no, there's definitely armor in there. Um, and some weapons as well, um, although a little bit less direct, militantly focused, a bit more thematic and interesting. Um, and also, if we're funded, and I've taken this out, and this is something for backers to know, I'm taking a cut out of the money I have coming to me mm -hmm. after I pay the editor and after I pay the artist. Um, the cut of money that comes to me, I have agreed with another artist on Twitter to take um, basically a large chunk of my money that I'm getting, so basically being paid nothing, 
um, or very, very tiny ones, and actually buying more art that is um, wheelchair um, and oh, mobility yes. yeah. aids. Um, so, because I thought, if I'm doing this, let's do it right. Because right now, wheelchairs and D&D is a hot topic in mm-hmm. two seconds. Of course there should be wheelchairs in D&D, you idiots. There's dragons! Um, so, that that is a kind of strong feeling for me. So I thought it's time to reach out and actually show support rather than just talking the talk. <laughs> is that from so, the artist who did the original wheelchair concept? Because I absolutely I, love that. Or is it someone else? It isn't. I will find them now by the powers of being on a laptop. Um, two seconds. Do, 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 do. It is by the amazing artist that is Lucas Martinez, who how people have not seen this guy, and he doesn't have a million million followers. Although I do notice that my Twitter has magically unfollowed him, even though I followed him. Um, his designs he's putting out right now are absolutely amazing um, I mean just genuinely the wheelchair designs he's doing are just is he doing lots of different types made. then so what's sorry is he doing lots of different types of wheelchairs then uh, he is doing lots of different ones but I'm only acquiring one because unless somebody wants to hand me a great deal more money <laughs> paying artists are respectful and this is important to me um, a respectful and appropriate amount of remuneration mm. for their work um, I'm not going to include it in. So all the art that's in there, in the in everything I'm doing, and also in this Kickstarter, is either stock art that I've had to buy at some point for usage in this project, um, or specifically customised bespoke art for the project, or existing art that I can buy licences to, that pays the artist fair, fair wages, and not just fair wages as they happen to define them, although I'd be okay with that, but fair wages versus the industry standard yeah. at this yeah. point as well. That, that's a really important thing, and that's, I think, something that people overlook, and I'm really keen to make sure people understand in this Kickstarter. The editor, in this case, after I take my portion of how much is the Kickstarter, after Kickstarter take that portion, I take mine, some goes to the artist, some goes to the editor, and I'm actually, right now, it's actually split pretty evenly if not bang on exactly right, the difference is I absorb any other costs. So if someone needs a refund or something goes wrong um, or something needs redone, I have to pay for that. Um, They don't have to and they're paid appropriately for their work Mm -hmm. and at proper rates, not piddly little rates that people try and get with like two cents of work, which is ludicrous. That annoys me a lot. I mean, I I commissioned an artist um, just over a year ago. I won't say who and I won't say what for, but when I saw the work and it took them two maybe three evenings and they said how much it was and I said that's that's too too little so I actually yeah. gave 50% more than what she was asking for and I still felt that wasn't enough yeah. but um, they there's a lot of asses out there and there's a lot of competition and people will shop around and try to get the lowest yeah. price point but if you like the artist and if you like their work they're giving up their time. Pay them. Yeah. Pay them for their work. Even if you think about national living wage, which we have in the in the UK, yeah, you if you sit down and work that out, you know, three hours that is about eight pound now. I think it is. Yep, yeah, roughly yeah. somewhere in that region. So if someone does three hours at eight pounds, that's twenty four pounds. Yeah. So I mean, for for me, the 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 key problem is while people in lower I'm not going to say lower grade in a mean way, lower but as in lower country. lower income countries, yeah. um, or even you know they, they can get by on smaller amounts of money. The conversion across can be ludicrous at times, mm-hmm. even, um, especially in, in in Asian countries, yeah. um, uh, especially places potentially like India as well. I know the conversion can be absolutely ludicrous, but it doesn't mean that we should take advantage of that. No. If anything, we should be in providing them the same money and they should be benefiting from that because we're benefiting from an artist. Yeah. Um, and I think the, the one key problem people do sometimes forget in the conversation is what if me as a customer, I'm also poor? Um, like, oh, I can only afford £30 for art. Well, okay. 
there's stock art available out there and sometimes people are willing to do art for money that's fine if, if someone says i will happily do and i am not negatively impacted by doing art for you for 30 pounds great mm-hmm. as long as you and the artist have an agreement and you're happy and it's not bargaining them down and forcing them to sacrifice their bread line basically yeah. some a lot of artists do live like what looks to be fantastic creative lifestyles and it's like yeah in twitter pictures of what they've drawn but they're trying to see if they can get their cocoa pots to last them a week mm-hmm. you know i'd much rather feed a person that than get more art quite frankly that's why i'm here to support my community so overall aside from the morals <laughs> and everything else which are a good bonus to have trying to treat people equitably and everything else um four audio tunes the main pdf that is the new subclasses the Magic Items PDF and the Lewis Special, the Dra- Rangers Dragon's Eye subclass with Magical Items. So that's regardless of what backer level is, the free stuff. Obviously, the main thing, if you're choosing a backer level that isn't the default one pound, that's what you're buying as well. If you're on the more expensive backer levels, you gain access to those two PDFs that we mentioned earlier that you've done videos about, Andy, which is Magical Artifacts and Deconstructed Races. They are all designed to work together, so you can create bonkers combinations that can be quite powerful. So as always, discuss with your DM before you use anything, um, because it should always be a two-way conversation, but generally speaking, it should all be pretty balanced. Um, And he says, in theory. So let me get this right. So for my £10 backer, and you still have early birds available as well, don't you? Oh yeah, still have early birds available for five pounds. I will get the um, the classes module. Yep. I will also get the magical items, uh, art, magical artifact, artifacts, and magical items. Yep. And deconstructing D and D races, yes. which normally go, which normally sells for five dollars on drive through RPG. Right. That was the first six months release price, so that was its special offer. So it's actually only ten pounds now. Right. Okay. So you're basically getting what would be thirty pounds worth of product for a fiver or a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty good deal. Plus, obviously, all the free stuff that we just mentioned. So the audio tunes, which are free to use, mm-hmm. the extra classes PDF, um, and also. Um, the PDF for magical items with a ton of stuff in there um, and people can check out my Twitter feed because I can't restrain myself when I'm working on things and I tend to put loads of pictures up of everything I'm working on not that I have an impulse control problem are you, sure, are you sure? because I do remember someone hitting that big red button early you know it's like Kickstarter I'll wait till Monday yeah. <laughs> oops <laughs> Yeah, as all people with Kickstarter tend to work, it's like, oops, I pressed the button, I have back. Um, the one tier that, nope, we've got one backer who's decided to take on the, the challenge of one of the £100 tiers. Yes. Right? And that £100 tier enables whoever backed it, working with Lewis at this, um, who, Andy, I'm going to ask you to link his Twitter uh, in here, because he's yeah. amazing to he follow. Is, yeah. He is, he, he will do art with the person acting as either the model or asking for the art to be done in a particular way Mm -hmm. Um, and Lewis will make that art and that will be the art for that subclass the one that's been taken is the druid of the circle of the anathema which is, I'm sorry nature is upset No, 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 not angry I'm going to delete you now like think the meteor that killed the dinosaurs, mm. the volcano that ended the city. It's no, no. I have had enough. Nature says goodbye. The forces of nature. <laughs> yeah. So the the end times kind of truth. Um, and the other one is the rogue with the archetype of face, and face not meaning potentially it's more cyberpunky mm-hmm. kind of connotations of hey, I'm the face, I'm going to charm and schmooze everything. In this case, it's actually designed so that you can play it in a multitude of ways, but the face, the £100 one that you too can end up being the model for the art of. Um, <laughs> sorry for the plug. But That's yeah. all right. Um, in this case, all of its powers 
or the crux of its nature is really around, no, no, I, I, um, I belong here. I'm actually, um, you didn't know? Um, uh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the new captain of the guard. Did you know the vizier didn't? Oh, yeah, you should probably go check in. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll guard these guys. Yeah, leave. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on them. You can go check and uh, tell the vizier everything's going good and you've now met me. Soldiers wander off. Right, guys, I've got the keys. I'm like, run! <laughs> it, it's that little time of they believe just long enough, even though your props are terrible, your, co- your armor is made out of cardboard and painted silver, yeah. uh, and that isn't a helmet, that is a plant pot you turned upside down and stuck some feathers on, they believe just long enough for you to do something. I, yeah, I, 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 oddly enough, I can, I can think of a, a very good example of that. And I'm going to go way out of fancy. I'm going to go Cobra Kai. And if you remember uh, Robin, I've, no, I've have you not seen it? Okay, well, one of the characters does exactly that by stealing <laughs> laptops, by um, getting a shirt to make it look like he works there. And it's, when the customer comes up and says, "Oh, I need," oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, we, it might take a while. We'll come back in an hour. And literally, as soon as he's got the laptop, out of the back of the store, they sell it. So, yep. And then the shirt comes off. I know. A hundred percent. It is the oops. I've been mistaken for someone who works here, but as a rogue ability, um, and with various levels of efficacy, and the ultimate perversion of it. I'm not going to spoil it because it's Mm. hilarious to read for the first time because my creative process can be a bit random. Mm. Um, So I was just kind of thought processing, just writing stuff down, and I wrote that one down. I went, actually, that's genius. Um, And the ultimate power of it is very cool. Um, So uh, hopefully people enjoy. Um, I do, however, have content that I'm quite happy to talk through, which is one from end to end, um, from the subclasses, which is the one actually dedicated Mm -hmm. to um, a couple of people that uh, I do love dearly, which is the monk subclass specialization, which is the monastic tradition way of the open heart. And uh, it's kind of dedicated quite heavily towards my two partners in crime on this Kickstarter, so that's Lewis Abadais and Help Extreme, um, who is the editor on this project, mm-hmm. um, and just how caring and genuine a group of people they are. There's a love letter there. There's a love letter for every one of these classes to the people that inspired it, explaining why they are awesome and everything else. And as people can see, um, there's more art by Lewis down at the bottom. Um, hopefully, very lovely and attractive art mm-hmm. that people enjoy on these pages. That are again more flavours about what should this, what does this class maybe look like? Is it what you expect? Is it something a bit different? So, um, hopefully, with images popping up on video, video oh, yeah. because yeah. we'll be doing that. Editing, um, I'll uh, walk everybody now through the monk way of the open heart.